The blessed mother has shown numerous signs through Julia Kim to assure us of the truthfulness of the messages. These miracles are sheer gifts, precious and prodigious signs given to us from God. The most notable among them are the Eucharistic miracles, which were witnessed during the Mass celebrated by St. Pope John Paul II in his private chapel. On November 24, 1994, when the Apostolic Pronuncio, several priests and about 70 pilgrims were praying in the chapel, a large Eucharist was brought by St. Michael, the Archangel, and a small Eucharist came down in wrapped in light. On June 30, 1995, during the overnight prayer meeting, commemorating the 10th anniversary of the Blessed Mother's weeping, Seven small sacred hosts came down. One of them received by Julia, turned into visible flesh and blood, which was witnessed by many pilgrims. On September 22nd, in the same year, the Eucharistic miracle through Julia occurred at the Blessed Mother's Mountain, and Bishop Roman Danilek from Canada witnessed it and left us one testimony. For the first time, human eyes saw the living heart of our Lord and Savior, the heart that had so loved the world that it offered itself in the Holocaust that we might live and not be lost. Dr. Helen Owen, a pediatrician in Canada, said the heart in the photo of a Eucharistic miracle had the same size and configuration of the heart of an infant after an attentive examination. On February 28, 2010, on that day, which was the third day of Julia's stay in Rome, Archbishop Giovanni Bolaitis, Apostolic Pro Nuncio Korea, celebrated the Mass in the chapel at his official residence in Vatican. During this Mass, the 33rd Eucharistic miracle of the sacred host changing into visible flesh and blood in Julia's mouth occurred. It's similar like a heart. It's like a heart. It's a changing, changing. Holy host is now changing. It's very deep. Swallow. During this miracle, the Blessed Mother gave a message to Archbishop Bolaitis, in which she asked him to meditate well on the meaning of Omega and put it into practice. 